Hi, I am Ashna. I study architecture at DIS Copenhagen and my home school is Parsons School of Design. And I'll be showing you a few of my favorite architectural sites across Amar. So right now we're at our first site and it's called Circle Broen or the Circle Bridge and it's designed by the very very famous artist Oliver Eliasson. It got a lot of recognition for its design itself. He grew up in Iceland where a lot of the ships were right next to each other so it seemed like you could jump from ship to ship and reach the other end of the harbor and that was kind of the intention with his design. So he designed these masts and these circles that lead from like one place to another. I think just because it doesn't intentionally look like a bridge, it looks like a piece of art. Um, and that kind of was Olafur's intention with this bridge. He wanted people to come here and just kind of stop for a minute and look around the city and look around all of the sites. So there's like a very famous site right in front of it, which is the Black Diamond. And it's the most famous library in Copenhagen. So an interesting fact about these buildings is that they were inspired by Dutch architecture and specifically the concept in urban design which is called four second facades and four second facades refers to a person walking from one end to the other in four seconds and if you have a lot of these four second facades it makes it very visually interesting you kind of get bored as you're like walking along so all of these four second facades are a lot more interesting to the human eye. <laughs> So we're at La Que Cousette and the bakery was actually inspired by this building itself because it looks like a layered cake and La Que Cousette literally translates to a layered cake. <laughs> so I usually come to this bakery a lot just because it's very near to my housing and I usually just have a lot of cookies from here <laughs> just because I have a dessert addiction but that's fine in Denmark. <laughs> watch me struggle with the start. It's amazing. I recommend this bakery. Now we're headed to the Zeitgen Collegium and we're gonna take the metro there. Here it is. <laughs> So we actually came here on our core course week with my core course, which is urban design. It basically rethinks the idea of like a normal Copenhagen courtyard. So we're in the Teitgen Collegiate right now and it's a student dorm. It's right next to the Copenhagen University campus and it was designed by the famous architects Lundberg and Strandberg. So why I believe this is like very uniquely Scandinavian is because it appeals to a lot of Danish design principles and one of the biggest Danish design principles is designing for people. And I believe this building caters to that very well because it's very open and that's required in a student dormitory just to get people to engage in conversations. I actually asked my professor what his favorite building in Copenhagen was, and it's this building. <laughs> so we're at the Copenhagen University campus. Um, and a cool thing about this place is that it's a very famous urban design project. And the way that they designed this is that they were looking to find bike storage, but in a very interesting way. They lifted up the ground quite literally <laughs> and stored the bikes underneath. <laughs> it feels very warm, like I would sit here and read a book. 100% is all of the furniture and making it seem like a living room and making public spaces feel like a living room. And that's a very famous concept in Danish architecture. We're going to the It House by Vig. <laughs> and I'm excited because I've never been there before. I think the design is super cool. And one of the coolest facts is that you can bike up to the 10th floor of the building, which is crazy and that never happens. So we just got to the It House by Vig again. <laughs> it won the world's best residential building in 2011. And the building is separated into two different parts where the upper part is 
residential and the lower part is commercial. The residential part also has a lot of different types of housing. So it has pet houses, two-story houses, single family houses, just to get a lot of different demographics of people in the space. And the green roofs are also interesting because they also won the award for the best green roof. So as an architecture student, I've always wanted to visit this space because it's one of the most famous buildings by Big. And it's really exciting to be here in this moment, in this semester, so I'm very grateful. So that was the end of our tour, but thank you for joining me on our site visits to my favorite architecture buildings in Amar. <laughs>